Oh boy, it's back. It's the return of Lake Gasparino. What's up everyone, Scott the Chart Hammer here. Powerline 94 Tour, never forget. So that winter trend we had really lasted about a week and a half and the winter storms finally broke uh, sometime earlier today. And we're supposed to have a couple days of sun, a little bit warmer, but that still hasn't helped the fishing at all. I went out for like half an hour before work on Friday and the TLDR on that is pretty much it. it started pouring down rain again blowing wind I got ran out of there in like half an hour like I said but guys let's quickly address the giant elephant in the room and it's not me this time we finally hit a thousand subscribers thank you guys so much I mean it, it this is the culmination of almost two years worth of hard work blood sweat tears dreams and your guys' support like I said I can't do this without you guys Thank you guys so much for helping get this channel to that point. What was really special to me, the thing that I loved the most, was that PDX Fishing and I hit a thousand subscribers in the same hour. He officially hit a thousand subscribers before I did, and I was right behind him. I think the last time I checked, I was at like 1,020 this morning. So we're still climbing, which is freaking awesome. Then also, Northwest Fishing hit a thousand subscribers a few days later. So, I mean, the three of us are a little gated community here on YouTube. We're all hitting a thousand subscribers at the same time. Now we just gotta get Boneyard Bassin up to a thousand. So I'm gonna link everyone's channels in the description below. Check them out, subscribe if you haven't already. You know, we're all sort of a team on this platform. We're all Oregon fishermen who love fishing and want you to love fishing as much as we do. But I did have the biggest subscriber gain I've ever had in one day. It was 16 subscribers in one day. It may not seem like a lot because my subscriber gains have always been really steady, but 16 was the most I had in one day. And then like 30 some subscribers in the last week, but I got some shout outs to give. Yeah, when you guys subscribe to the channel, if your account setting is on public and I can read your name, I'll give you a shout out in my weekend video, which today is. So today I got shout outs for Yo Do, Yo Lysit. Derek Johnson, DGV FFD, Moose Digger, Mr. Lunchbox 356356, Jeff Mackey, Dion Brittmeyer, Travis Raymond, Scott Chapman, Diana Young, and Mike Hussey. Thank you all so much for subscribing to the channel. You guys are the ones that are helping this channel get to the point it is, and I can't do this without you guys in my way of saying thank you with these shout outs. If your account setting is on private and I can't read your name and you subscribe to the channel, you guys know who you are. You guys are rock stars. I thank you just the same. So, yeah, like I already demonstrated. Don't mind that. It is just almost flood stage out here right now. And that coming our way doesn't look very tasty either. Yeah, at one point in the last week, the creek that runs by my house was almost up to the road, down the road. I haven't seen that in a long time. But it's just a compounding series of events that's actually making me really optimistic for this year because this winter so far has been almost exactly like the winter of 2015 into 2016. And 2016 was the best fishing year I've ever known. Hopefully this year is going to be something similar. Yeah, since we are really not fishing anytime soon, like I said in the last video, we are on our way to the Sportsman Show at the Lynn County Expo Center. But let's just climb in the rig and I'll see you guys there. Yep, you saw me. There you go, guys. That's a fish. There you go, guys. That's an eel! Oh, this is such an awesome looking fish. Oh, yeah! All right, guys, check that out. Now that's a big lure. Well, here's some guys I know. I know. Oh, I'm gonna use that for sure. All right, guys, here's what I want you to do. I want you guys to get in the comments and I want you to bug this guy to start his own channel like I've been bugging him. Fly fishing, hunting, this guy is a champion. <laughs> I might, I catch you this. I hope so. <laughs> I do. I like that ghost pepper, it's got kick to it. Is there a hot damn that pot? Okay, is that a It might be because I just had goat pepper sauce, oh, but yeah, yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. No, that actually does have a, that has a little kick on the back end. Yeah. Now that's a clam gun. So this is a stainless steel crab bait, so no more breaking the plastic ones that we all use. When you're not using it, you rinse it off and it stores flat, so it oh. doesn't take up a lot of room on your boat. Those are 
beautiful reel handles. That was fun. Now there were some things I couldn't show because even with me having some music play on this video, they had music playing over the PA system, I didn't want to get hit with that good old copyright violation. But I got some errands to run and then we're going to get on with the rest of the stuff I need to show in this video. So here's something new we're going to start doing very soon. can't believe I haven't thought to get a crawdad trap before. I mean, pretty much everywhere I fish, river and pond has a great crawdad population. So I went ahead and got a trap that has a nice sliding door on the side to get the crawdad out. Attachable refillable bait jar too. So I'm probably going to head out with that sometime maybe tomorrow, maybe Monday. I have Monday off. It's one of the things I love about the place I work is all the paid holidays off that I get. Yeah, it seems like fishing should really start any time with, you know, the way the weather's been going with it warming up. And I mean, today was just super wet. But it's supposed to be dry for the next couple of days. Then the pond fishing should begin. Oh, I miss pond fishing. You know, I'll show you some of the stuff that I picked up at the sportsman show. I mean, for one, I mean, look at that. So you got a vendor there selling Procure for that much. I'm going to get a couple. Restock up on the carp spit because I use that stuff so much with catfish and carp fishing. I didn't even know they made a saltwater formula. To try that on the jetty. Show you the stuff I got from Jay's Jigs. If you guys don't know him, I mean, he's a local guy, which, you know, like I said, I'm going to support local guys all the time, but there's his card if you guys want to pause to get his phone number, get his uh, email to contact him. The jigs he made look friggin' awesome. Grab a couple of jigs. I mean, that one, that one just, to me, from what I've seen, just screams steelhead on the San Yan in the summer. Nice, almost like a stonefly nymph style jig. And, you know, this one here, this one to me says a steelhead on the Al Sea. I mean, the guy knows the stuff for sure. Him and I are going to get together during the uh, during the spring and summer when the steelhead run hits the San Yan. You guys will be seeing him more. Yeah, let me know what you guys thought down in the comments below. Let me know if you guys went to the Sportsman Show, what you guys saw. I was taking it in so much that I actually forgot to take the pictures I wanted to for Instagram. I was just having too much fun. So sometime later today, well later today that I upload this video will be tomorrow. Sometime either later today or Monday, I'm going to upload a video talking about hitting a thousand subscribers and plans going forward and wanting to do a giveaway. That video will drop later in the day. So that, thank you guys so much for watching, and as always, tips up, tight lines, and have fun fishing.